Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the crunch stitch. I've been asked by a couple subscribers to show them how it's done. It's a very easy stitch. We only use two stitches, the half double crochet and slip stitches, and you only repeat one row. Okay, and this is what it looks like. It's got lots of texture, um, perfect for baby blankets. It's reversible and that's what it looks like okay so let's get started and thank you for watching okay to begin i'll be using this 5.5 millimeter crochet hook and for this um, sample i'll be using medium number four yarn for this stitch you can use any yarn as long as you use the recommended hook for the yarn that you're going to use the stitch multiple for this stitch is two i have 12 chains here your chain is going to be longer however the sequence is still the same Okay, so to begin on the second chain from the hook, right here, we're going to make a slip stitch. Into the next chain, we're going to make a half double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, pull up a loop, three loops on my hook, close. Into the next chain, a slip stitch. Into the next chain, a half double crochet into the next chain a slip stitch this is all you're going to do all the way to the end of your chain just repeat this sequence of making a slip stitch and then into the next chain a half double crochet slip stitch half double crochet into the next chain slip stitch half double crochet into the next chain and to finish we're going to finish with a slip stitch just like we began this row we're going to end in the same way with a slip stitch okay and here's the first row that's what it looks like now for the second row and for the rows that follow you're going to chain two and turn into this first stitch which is our last slip stitch of the previous row you're going to make a slip stitch into the next stitch right here you can see the two loops insert your hook and make a half double crochet into the next stitch a slip stitch half double crochet 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 and a slip stitch here into this last space And this is how we finish the second row. That's what it looks like. Okay, now for the third row, chain two, turn. And we're going to do the exact same thing we did on the second row. Into this first slip stitch, which is the last slip stitch from the previous row, right here, we're going to make a slip stitch. Into the next stitch, a half double crochet. Slip stitch, half double crochet slip stitch half double crochet slip stitch half double crochet slip stitch half double crochet okay and to finish this row you're going to make your last slip stitch here where we have these two chains at the end so insert your hook and make your slip stitch and here's the third row and that's what it looks like okay and to begin the next row same thing chain two turn and into this first slip stitch make a slip stitch into the next stitch a half double crochet and this is all you're going to do just continue until you have the size that you want 
and this is what it looks like once you have a couple more rows there it is and that's what it looks like okay so i hope you liked this tutorial thank you so much for watching until next time